Welcome to this quick video on the new Monogame content project solution coming in preview Monogame 3.8.5. Here we'll show you how to quickly add the new content builder pro project to your existing solution and start building content. So starting from scratch, we're going to create a brand new Monogame 2D start kit template because this comes with a several platforms, a core library with a code and also some more importantly, some content. So go in here, launch our good old trusty VS code. Get rid of that. So as the solution loads, you see here we have both the project files and also the solution explorer showing we have our platforms, our core project. And if we expand this, we can also see we have our content. Good. So to begin, we're going to simply add a new project to the solution, which is the MGCB, the Monogame Content Builder. I'm going to call this content. I'm going to create a different directory. And there we go, that's in our solution. But if we expand this right now um, at the current development stage for 3.5, you'll see there's lots of red squiggles here. So we, all we need to do here is simply update this so that we're actually using the current development version of Monogame. Once the 3.8.5 release is out, you don't need to do this. It should just work straight out the box. So that's our builder there running. And if we build this now, go down here and go build. That's going to be fine. And if we run it, we're going to see what's going to run. And it's going to go through the default assets folder and obviously find you no know, content. So next up, we need to actually go and add some content to this thing. So if we go back to our project solution here, and we go down to our core project on the content folder. We see we've got several bits of content here and we select these. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these into the default assets folder contained within the builder project. This is just the temp default name. If you want to, you can change this. No problems uh, with that in because the builder has uh, default, as we've shown up in several places, the include line here for the builder simply goes looks in the assets folder collects all the content there and then builds it using the default processes and importers so if i run this now again i've not built rebuilt the project i'm just going to run it so it's going to use and look for all the content that's folded and you can see here now it's going to see there's all the content here now because this is the platform of project there are some files here which will not be picked up so if we look back here, they've got text processors, things, but then we get down to files, but we'll notice that there's no text files. Um, it's trying to copy the text file. It's trying to file it, but the importer's not found. It can't process it. And we can see this here if we're looking at our bin content and looking at our levels folder, there's nothing in here. And that is because if we go down to our original content project definition here, and we find our levels, you can see that these are actually just being copied in. There's no processing, nothing happening. So we need to do the same thing in our project. It's the same if you use any other custom content processors or any extensions. You'll need to include the extensions part of the builder. So it's included as part of the program. And then you can actually build using it. So we're going to go back to our builder here. And we're going to add an additional exceptional override here to simply say, right, if you find any text files in the levels folder, so it's we're restricting down what it's doing. We're simply going to copy them. That's all this is doing. Now, because I've changed the content builder, I do need to rebuild it now because I'm changing how it's processing. Off it goes. But then if I run it again, and then this is now a case of I run it any other time now for my project, it's going to rebuild my content. And we'll go back up here and we can quickly find da, 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 zooming up. Now we've got the text files and goes and there all this done is copied it. It's not doesn't need to process it. And now we can confirm that in our bin folder. Yep, there's all our level text files copied. So our content is managed, but what about the project itself? So we need to do a bit of cleanup here because we no longer need this .config file a folder because we're now using content builder, not the content pipeline. So we don't need the old .NET tool that it used to use. And uh, if we go into our project, go into our CS proj, and get this down. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, we need to update this version to ensure we're all using the same version. Not critical. You don't have to. You could just run your project in the exist your existing project as it currently stands, because it's only the builder project that needs to use the new stuff. But 
my pre preference, keep everything the same, just to keep it simple. We're no longer using this old content reference because we're not using the old editor tool and we don't need this builder.task. Again, that's part of the old stuff. So then the last thing we need to do is add our target reference. And this is where I say that if you call your project a different name or you call your assets folder a different name or you put it somewhere else, this is where it's important. So that will just run in it on its own, fine. But here we're simply saying that we're going to run the builder we're going to pass it some arguments. We're going to say which platform to run from. So you use the same block for all of your platforms. It will build content for that platform that's being built at the time it's being built. It tells it where it's going to get the content from. So we're saying it's the assets folder, if you change it. And then also if you call your project or put your project somewhere else, then you simply need to change the path where it's going to find it. It's going to build it, run it, off it goes. So now if I simply run this platform, where are we? We're on desktop GL. Uh, I'm going to start new instance. This is now going to build. It's going to tell the builder to go run and build content. You'll notice, well, that there's caching going on here. So content is only built once. And then there we go. There's our game upgraded. Now using the content pipeline, not the legacy old dusty modern game content builder editor. Ah, oh, may it rest in peace. And the only thing you really need to take care of when you're doing this process is how you check how your content's being processed. Make sure that you're handling the things being copied or processed differently, or if you use content pipeline extensions, and go back to your project, edit your builder, tell it how to manage your content, do this once, follow the same pattern in your content, and that's it. Everyone's a winner. So that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, questions and comments onto Discord, please, and or if you find any issues, just let us know. But 3.8.05 is shaping up to a really nice release. And just take a care that the Content Builder, the Vulkan, and DX12 are all preview platforms. So they're not going to be production ready. And we're working on trying to improve those so that when they get the full release, we're all going to go off zooming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell for YouTube notifications. Comment below to let us know what you'd like to see more of. Support us at monogame.net slash donate or get in touch via social media.